You have different teams and it's, it's petty and it goes back years and it's like, we need to be the adult in the room and come together and represent the people, giving everybody a voice. Well, else to have a speaker. You gotta have a speaker. Well, you can't vote on anything on the floor until you have a speaker. And you guys are in the majority. Yeah. So. Yeah. I why mean, can't if it, you, if why it were up to me, if it were up to me, we would have locked ourselves in a room in the first 24 hours and not left the, the hill until we had it figured out. So you were one of eight who voted mm -hmm. against McCarthy and led to the situation we're in. This was a guy that made promises to conservatives, to moderates, to Democrats, and didn't keep them. And we promised the American people we would have a budget, that we would have 12 spending bills to support that budget. And all of that just went out the window. This has been the least productive session of Congress in 30 years. But aren't you guys going to get blamed for that? Well, since, I mean, since you hold the house. I'm blaming us for that. And I simply want a speaker and a leader who will tell the truth. So Jim Jordan now has lost two votes in a row. Do you think he's the right person to be leading them? When you talk to constituents, the people love him. He works really hard on judiciary. But he's never passed a bill outside a committee. Well, this is a guy that if he says yes, he means yes. And if he says no, he means no. We are scheduled to have our third vote for the speaker this afternoon. So we'll, we'll see how it ends up. Are you optimistic about the future at this point? I've only been up here for two and a half years, and I'm about as jaded as I've ever been.